In this video I want to take a step back and explain what we can do to make our game a AAA title or a much better title than it is now. So if you're watching my videos the chances are that you want to make a really good quality game so let's dive into the game and see what we can improve. I'm not saying this is a bad quality game, I think it's really good, it's a semi-professional game anyway so but if we want to make it even better with what we've got so far there's a few things we can do. The first thing is with the audio clips. We've got two audio clips at the moment. The wind itself, so I don't know if you can hear that, it's very low. And we've got the gunshot as well, so this shot. And these are absolutely fine, but we can add so much more in the in the audio range because we could add a nice trickling of the water as we walk over here. If we get in confined spaces like a little tunnel area, we can add reverb zones with echo and distortion. And the other thing is the footsteps. So depending on the terrain, we can have different effects for each footstep. So if he's in water, we can have another footstep in the water. And minute details like this really bring the game to life. So I'll demonstrate this in a future video. So that's the sound effect. So the next thing is with this gun. now. I quickly modelled this gun, it hasn't got many polys, it's got a few uh, rectangles and a cylinder. So to improve this gun, we can bring it into Maya and add some more detail to it. Uh, again, I'll probably do this in another video. But if we look at our other models, such as these plants, we've got a basic texture map and we've modelled it out, which is really good. But if I wanted to make this even better, we can add normal maps and uh, to do this I'll use a program called Mudbox. Now Mudbox is a professional software package that you can use to add to sculpt models to add as much detail as you like and to paint on them and create really nice texture maps which you can export and use in your low poly models. So Mudbox has things called stencils and they have brush uh, brush effects and we can uh, paint on some really nice like veiny textures onto this and create a normal map like that and uh, they'll look really professional in our game I mean as the light shines on this we can we can we'll be able to see the plants minute details and this won't be possible of modeling because unity takes up a lot of uh, processing power for high detailed models so that's another area we can go into that's mudbox another software package people use is zbrush but I like using Mudbox because it's integrated with the Autodesk packages like Maya and 3ds Max. And another point, ZBrush, if you use ZBrush guys, when you paint onto the model, um, the paint is not saved directly to the texture map. If you use Mudbox, the paint is saved directly to the texture map, so you're painting on the texture map as you paint on the model basically. So the engines work in different ways, it's up to you which software you use, but if you want to make AAA games I'd recommend using one of them software. Uh, so I'll go through that in another video. So the last thing I wanted to mention or another thing was the way we shoot our bullets. So if I go to my stats and reveal my frame rate here, not that good, um, if we've got a high frame rate, so if I point up to the sky where there's not much going on and shoot Oops. I don't know if you can hear but the bullets are not consistent, they're going at a random pace and if we go into our game where there's a lot of objects and the frame rate is slightly lower let's say the bullets slow down so depending on your frame rate the bullets speed up or slow down or depending on your clock speed or your processor power the bullets will slow down or speed up and that is not good because our audience could be using a range of machines and we control our bullets with the update function so as you can see there's nothing here so it's quite fast 30 frames per second to deal with this we just need to multiply the uh, the calculation with time delta time which so this will make the bullets um, shoot in real time basically so a consistent speed no matter how fast your your processor is so again I'll do this in a future video um, these are just some points we can work on to make this a triple A game I mean a triple A game is well defined as a top quality game you'd probably see on the PC or console so there's no real definition of how to make a game a top quality game but the trick is to tweak it as much as you can, add as much detail as you can, but the main thing is to keep up performance. I mean, if we had lots of 
objects in this scene I would set up occlusion culling so this way we can save objects in memory and when we're not when the camera's not looking or when when the objects are not in the scene they'll just disappear from the scene and not get processed basically and that's another thing to look into so again everything comes down to little tweaks and polishes and setting up your game to be nice and fast and responsive so the next few videos will concentrate on tweaking this out we'll also add little textures to show where we've been shooting so if I shoot here there'll be a little texture here and stuff so um, that's where I'm going with this guys little tweaks and little polishes from now and we'll expand later on so again thanks for watching this video I'll see you in the next video